Hello High Tracking Community! My name is Michael and in this video we will talk about how we can export bounding box information from Blickshift Analytics. On the screen you can see a classical automotive setup. However, what I will describe in the following also works for every setup where you're interested in handling or analyzing dynamic areas of interest. On the screen, you can also see our new dynamic AOI editor. And now I want to create an area of interest covering this traffic light here on the top. So we are in the experiment. I go here to the panel in the dynamic AOI editor. I choose the rectangle tool and then I cover here the traffic light and from here can do this in different ways. I go now backwards in time. So I go here to the timeline and we scroll here a bit back into the past. Let's say until here and here I cover the traffic light again. So I change um, the size of the area of interest and the position a bit. And now I activate um, the automatic object tracking. So I go here on the pin and the timeline and I go to succeeding range object tracking. And now the computer vision is working and is detecting this area of interest through the video for us. So let's have a look at the result. I scroll into the experiment and we can nicely see that this area of interest is really covering the traffic light. If you're interested in learning more about the dynamic AOI editor, please have a look at this video. And in the following, I want to describe now how you can export this area of interest information. Some of you ask us, hey, is it possible to export now this position data, this width and height information from detected areas of interest in Blickshift Analytics? And yes, it is possible. And this works as follows. And that's really easy. I go first to the panel and I say here, output AOI coordinates. So I activate this checkbox here. And if I look now at the data model which runs or which is stored in the back, uh, background in Blickshift Analytics. So I go here with the visualizations, drill down. What I can see here on the most right is now columns for defining the positions of this one area of interest. And here we have the coordinates. And now I can export this data model into a CSV file. I go to the dynamic AOI editor. I make a right click and I say output export to files. And here I can select now the different columns which I want to export since I'm only interested in let's say the video time and the coordinates of the different of this one area of interest. I select only these six columns here. So video time, area of interest name and then the coordinates. I enter here a file name let's say bounding box CSV and I say OK. And now this data model or only these selected columns containing the bounding box information for this area of interest has been exported to the hard disk. If you want to learn more about how to export data from Blickshift Analytics, please watch this tutorial. So the CSV file looks now as follows. We have the video time and then we have the different information about the rectangle. And when I scroll down now here, the coordinates of the bounding box. So of this one rectangle. And this data can now processed in other software. So like for example, rendering a nice video about how the areas of interest are moving around on the video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell so that you'll never miss a new video on this channel. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.